Hi there and welcome. I thought I would take the opportunity um, to share with you a bit about um, the way I care for my hands. Um, this was inspired by a subscriber that commented um, and I, I thought I would take the opportunity to do so. So let's get started. Um, I moisturize my hands regularly uh, along with the rest of myself and um, I utilize uh, several products that I'm fairly pleased with. Um, so let's get started. Um, first I have for you, uh, this is a hand cream, a hand treatment by uh, La Mer. And I like it. It was uh, recommended to me um, at the store. And um, I think it's fairly good. I don't think it's uh, amazing but it is fairly good. I like it. Um, it doesn't leave a, too much of an occlusive film and uh, good during the day. Um, next I have for you one of my very, very favorites as uh, you can see by its current state. Uh, this is by Jerlique. I could unfold it for you but I'm uh, going to utilize the rest of it if there's any left. Um, this is a, a Jerlique hand cream and I really think that this company makes a fine, fine product. I believe they are Australian. They're organic and biodynamic and I, I love their hand creams. This one is lavender. I do like the rose as well. This company is a, I think, founded on the basis of um, aromatherapeutic properties of certain oils such as lavender, rose, jasmine, neroli, so on and so forth. And uh, I am uh, a bit of a subscriber of this type of uh, healing modality and um, it's, uh, I, f I find it effective, very effective in fact. One of my favorites more so than La Mer. Next I have for you, uh, this is a, a Ren product um, and a very clean product free of a lot of the nasties and I believe this is a, a British brand. Um, I really like it. This, you'll have to forgive its state, um, I keep next to the kitchen sink. And this is good for when you've got a lot to do in your day and you don't want that thick film. Um, it's a prebiotic hand cream. I like it. Um, I like it as much as I like the La Mer. It's, it's not a Jolique product, that's for sure, but I, I like it. I, I try to sometimes go natural if um, performance isn't a big issue. Not to say this does not perform well. And then I have for you one of my favorites. Um, I love this as much as I love Jolique. And this is by La Prairie. Uh, Swiss product. Um, this has saved me so many times. I can't tell you. Sometimes I get really chapped hands, especially if I'm, um, you know, doing a lot of things um, like cooking and, and things like that, and they get really dry and uncomfortable. And this has a very, like, penetrating uh, property. It, it really, I feel, isn't just something you put on so it feels better and then you just have to keep putting it on. I use this maybe every other night. I have used it every night and it works amazing, but um, every other night is fine. I, I believe it has a bit of a, like an acid that uh, drives the uh, nutritive and humectant properties deeper into the layers of the skin. Um, this is a phenomenal product. I, I don't ever want to be without this one. And some other times I just use plain organic raw coconut oil and it works great. It's more of a put it on so it it feels good but I don't necessarily feel it really um, sinks in as much but a great product. And I, I also like to sort of rotate um, my products. So that's a general idea of how I sort of moisturize my hands and and whatnot. I hope this helps. Please let me know if um, 
you would like to uh, see other other topics discussed. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it.